Today in this video, we discuss about the equivalence of NFSM and DFSM. The questions may be asked like this, convert the given NFA into DFA or convert the given NFSM into DFSM. For all this question, uh, today's video is the answer. NFSM is given here. NFSM, I call it as MN. It is defined by five tuples, K, Sigma, Del, N, I have written here. Just to indicate this transition function is for NFSM. Q0 and F, N, I have written. F is nothing but the set of final or accepting states and this N indicates NFSM. DFSM is also given. DFSM, I call it as M, D. D indicates DFSM. If there are K states in NFSM, DFSM must have 2 power K states. Then sigma is the alphabet. The transition function of DFSM is given as del D. Q0 is the start state. FD is nothing but the set of final or accepting states of DFSM. I have given the steps here how to convert the NFSM into DFSM. These points we review little later. Directly we get into the problem now. Now this is a problem I have taken. The transition diagram is given. For the given transition diagram, I have written the transition table. The transition diagram for NFSM is given here. Let us look into the transition table now. Transition, I have mentioned here it as del n. From the state q0 on reading 0, it goes to q0. From the state q0 on reading 1, it goes to Q1. I have written as it is in the table. From Q1 on reading 0, it goes to Q1 as well as it goes to Q0. So from the state Q1 on reading 0, it goes to Q0 as well as into Q1. From the state Q1 on reading 1, it goes to Q1 itself. So whatever is there in the transition diagram, I converted into transition table Q0 is the start state. Since Q1 is circled two times, Q1 is the final state. Now, from the given NFSM, we are going to find its equivalent DFSM. Right? So, in the equivalent DFSM, I have built the transition table. The start state of DFSM is the start state of NFSM. So, let me write Q0 here. The start state of NFSM is the start state of DFSM, right? We are going to build the transition rules of DFSM from the transition rules of NFSM. From Q0 on 0, refer to the transition table of NFSM. From Q0 on 0, it goes to Q0. Let me write as such here. So from Q0 on 1, what is that? That is what we have to find in case of DFSM. To build the transitions of DFSM, we refer to the transitions of NFSM. From Q0 on 1, it goes to the state Q1. So let me write as it is. Now we have defined the transitions of DFSM from its start state. From its start state, on reading 0, it reaches its start state itself. From the start state on reading 1, it goes to a new state that is Q1. So, let me continue to define transition from Q1. From Q1 on 0, from Q1 on 1, we have to identify. Once again, to build the transitions of DFSM, we have to refer to the transition table of NFSM. So, from Q1 on 0, what the transition table says here, from Q1 on 0, it goes to Q0, Q1. I'll write as it is. From Q1 on 1, in case of NFSM, it goes to Q1. In case of DFSM also, it is the same. From Q1 on 1, it goes to Q1. Yes, we have written. So, from Q1 on reading 1, it reaches Q1 itself. But from Q1 on reading 0, it enters into a new state Q0, Q1. So, let us continue defining transitions from Q0, Q1. 
from Q0, Q1 on reading 0, we have to identify. To identify from Q0, Q1 on 0, as usual, we have to refer to the transition table of NFSM. So, how do we find the transition rule? It is very simple. We have to find del D of Q0, Q1 on 0. To find this, we have to refer to the NFSM transition table like this. Q0 on 0 union Q1 on 0 we have to identify. So del N of Q0 on 0 in the transition table it is given as Q0. Then from Q1 on 0 it is being given as Q0 Q1. If you find the union of these two, we will obtain Q0, Q1. So, from Q0, Q1 on 0, it is nothing but Q0, Q1. Similarly, let us identify. From Q0, Q1 on reading 1. So, del and D of Q0, Q1 on reading 1, what happens? We have to refer to the transition table of NFSM to build the transition table of DFSM. So del N of Q0 on 1 union del N of Q1 on 1. So Q0 on 1 it is given as Q1 let us write here and Q1 on 1 it is given as again Q1. So, if you find union of these two, you will be getting Q1 itself. There is no difference in that. So, I will write Q1 here. So, from Q0, Q1 on 0, it is reaching itself. From Q0, Q1 on reading 1, it is reaching Q1. From here, we are not finding any new states. That's all. We built to the transition table of DFSM. Once again, I repeat, we are beginning the building of the transition table of DFSM from the start state of DFSM. But how did we identify the start state of DFSM? The start state of NFSM is the start state of DFSM. We are building the transition rules of DFSM from the transition rules of NFSM. These things we have to remember well so that the problem will become easier. Okay, we built the transition table. We know which is the start state of DFSM. But we have to know which is the final state of DFSM. Once again, we have to know which is the final state of NFSM. Which is the final state of NFSM here? Q1 is the final state. So, in the states of DFSM, wherever Q1 is there, all such states are final states of DFSM. So, Q1 is present here. It is a final state. Q0, Q1. Here also Q1 is a member of this set. So, this state is also a final state. Okay, now I am going to construct the equivalent transition diagram of DFSM from the given transition table. Right. Let me consider like this. From this transition table, I am going to construct the equivalent transition diagram. So, Q0 is the start state, Q1 is one state and of course we identified this as a final state. Q0, Q1 is another state which is also identified as a final state. From Q0 on reading 0 it goes to Q0, from Q0 on reading 1 it goes to Q1. From Q1 on reading 0, it goes to Q0, Q1. From Q1 on reading 1, it goes to Q1 itself. From Q0, Q1 on reading 0, it goes to Q0, Q1. From Q0, Q1 on reading 1, it goes to Q1. Yes. From this transition table, I built the transition diagram. Now, I am saying that the transition diagram of NFSM is equivalent to the transition diagram of DFSM. I say this NFSM is equivalent to the DFSM. Now, I will prove with the string patterns. Okay. 
So look into the NFSM. From the start state, there is a transition on 1 to the final state. It means this machine accepts 1. That is the first pattern I have identified here. NFSM access 1. By the way, DFSM also should accept 1. Let us check whether it is accepting 1. So look into the start state. Q0 is the start state. From Q0 on reading 1, it enters into the final state. Yes. Both NFSM as well as DFSM are accepting the string pattern 1. Now, let us see another pattern. It accepts a pattern 1 followed by repeated 0, 1. Both NFSM and DFSM. Let us check it out. Now, this is the given NFSM. 1. From the start state, it reads 1. Afterwards, it accepts repeated 0, 1. 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this pattern is accepted by NFSM. Let us check whether the same pattern is accepted by DFSM. Yes, from the start state Q0, it reads 1. From Q1, read 0. Then from this Q0, Q1, it reads 1. It means 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Repeatedly, it accepts 1, 0, 1 whole power n. So, this pattern is also accepted. Okay, now I have found another pattern. NFSM accepts 1 followed by any length of zeros and 1s. Let us see here. It begins with 1 followed by any length of zeros and 1s. Let us check whether the same thing is accepted here in the DFSM. From the start state, the DFSM reads 1, followed by any length of 1, followed by any length of 0 also. Begins with 1 and it can be followed by any length of 1s. The self loop reads num many number of times 1s. Similarly from here, it reads 1, 0, followed by any number of zeros. So the third pattern... Any length of zeros followed by, sorry, 1 followed by any number of zeros and 1s is recognized by both NFSM as well as DFSM. Now, let us see the last example. The last example is any length of zeros followed by any number of 1s. Let us see whether it is happening here. Any length of zero. From the start straight Q0, NFSM recognizes any length of 0 followed by any length of 1s. Isn't it? Let us see whether the same pattern is recognized here also. From the Q0, it recognizes any length of zeros followed by any length of 1s. Yes, because Q1 is the accepting state. It recognizes any length of 0 followed by any length of 1s. Similarly, many string patterns by both DFSM and NFSM are recognized. I uh, ask the question to the viewers now. I um, request the viewers to identify some more patterns and uh, put it in the comment section. And also I request the viewers of this video to give a like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. Okay, before closing this video, just I want to uh, refresh the points to find the equivalent of NFSM and DFSM once again. So, this is the given NFSM definition. Already I have given introduction about NFSM and DFSM in my previous videos. Please look into that. This is a given NFSM and this is a given DFSM. First, we check the states of NFSM and DFSM. If MN, MN is nothing but NFSM, has K states, then the DFSM must, has, must have 2 to the power of K states. But not all the 2 to the power of K states are reachable from the start states. That is why we never write all the 2 to the power of K states in the transition table of DFSM. Okay, now sigma, second component. The sigma for NFSM and the sigma for DFSM is one and the same. Now let us come to the third component. The transition rules are given for the NFSM. The transition rules of DFSM 
must be built from the transition rules of NFSL. Now look into the fourth component. Q0 is the start state of NFSM. Of course, Q0 is the start state of DFSM also. Fn is a set of final states of NFSM. Fd is a set of final states of DFSM. Provided Fd intersection Fn should not be null. If you find the intersection of these two sets, uh, if you find the intersection of these two sets, it shouldn't be empty. That is what the condition says. I hope you would have understood the problem. I hope you are able to find out the equivalent DFSM if the NFSM is given. Let us meet in the other video with another example of converting NFSM to DFSM. Thank you.